I think the good thing about Tommy Tuberville, he wasn't going to play him unless he was 100 percent. This is a quick strike Cincinnati offense and Keel in the air out near the 30 yard. Burns is being able to run it a little bit today. Five yard pickup again Keel to throw. He's got time. Flips it out across the middle in the pass. Time corner for Miami. So third down efficiency for Cincinnati and Miami's defense. And he couldn't get off the field against Tech. They bring pressure. Keel lost it up. Has a man and the pass is incomplete. 14 rushes, 65 yards for Rob Moore last week. Now Keel slings it left side, nearly picked off. And that pass. pass looks take another look. Hard to tell from that angle, Chip. Shaq Washington, number 19, he's their leading receiver. He's caught more balls than anybody else. A couple of them. Across the middle and incomplete. Defense, third down defense. Single back set. Four man front for Miami. Here they come. Hill steps up in the pocket, pass complete, just shy of 50 yard line. That's Chris Moore, who's number two in the college football world in yardage. Second and seven. Keel flips the black side. Moore leaping try at the sideline. Third along for Keel. He's three for nine in passing so far. Ready a time. Steps up in the pocket. Pass complete at the 15-yard line. And first down sits it. He doesn't have as many explosive plays as Chris Moore or Mikhail McKay. But he's a go-to guy for Gunnar Keel. And a long throw to Shaq Washington has Cincinnati knocking at the door. They're at the 14-yard line, down a touchdown. No snap, Keel handed. Again, he steps up, looks right, throws toward the end zone. Caught! And out of bounds. In the end zone. They don't need that guy banged up. Uh, that's a guy they felt like last week he ran the ball as physical as any of their running backs. They need him to run the football, but what a great effort. And he's walking off favoring his left leg. Washington in motion far side. He'll ready. At the point. Looking, looking, throws toward the end zone. Open and caught touchdown. The quarter. Yeah, that's going to be discouraging for Miami's defensive group. That was a goal for them coming in to get better on third down. Had a chance on fourth down to get off the field. Georgia, one of the best teams in the country. Gunner Keel inside screen out across the 25. I think so. I, I, they've got to get a, get a stop. I think that would really make them uh, energize them and get them get them fired up if they can stop this explosive offense. Keel has all day. Steps up, fires, pass caught outside the 40-yard line, and a big Cincinnati. It's got so many. You know, Gunner Keel's got so many weapons out there. So many people that he can go to. Ventress with the big hit. Well, that was the key for Cincinnati when you receive. Let's see what happens on third and four. Keel fires left side and complete. Gunner Keel back. Wanted. Overshot his defender, his old his uh, receiver. Now another late flag comes flying. Yeah, he was pressured pretty good. I think he threw a little bit off his back foot. Yards. Yeah, you just, you really hate to have penalties uh, where you just shoot yourself in the foot. You know, some sometimes you have aggressive penalties, but you really just... First and ten for Cincinnati and Gunnar Keel. Again, we didn't know he was going to play until a few minutes before the opening kick. Okay. Plenty of time for Keel, and that pass deflected out past the 30-yard line. Pass interference. Defender gets in. They they typically. Keel 
steps up, fires it out across the 40, and the ball deflected three times. Miami, they're around the football, they're contesting throws. Look at the touch by Gunner Kill. Great touch, but you got two Miami. Inside screen, pass caught across the 35 yard line. point out of Columbus, Indiana. He was headed for Notre Dame, now plays for Cincinnati. He steps up, fires incomplete, and nearly picked practice much. Plenty of time. Miami brings pressure. Keel wide open and across the middle and across midfield. And still on his feet. It takes three Kings. Big chunks of yards being picked up for both offenses. That ball tipped with the line. Good pressure here, collapsing the pocket, pushing those offensive lines. Guys back into the play. Three on the play clock. They just did get it off. Right side, pass is incomplete to convert. They tried only three field goals all year. Keel's pass is caught, and a flag is down, and inside the Play on the ball. Again, these these Cincinnati receivers, they're tough outs. It's hard to hard to make plays on these guys, and if you miss that ball. Second and goal to the 15. See if Miami can take advantage of that. DJ Jr. in the backfield now with Keel. Stands to his right. Gunner all day to throw. And this one out of reach. Try. And to me, it's how accurate these quarterbacks have been into some really, really good coverage. What a catch. Ten seconds left, third and ten for Keel. Looks left, throws right, pass dropped. Can't say it enough. Bearcats are without Jose Williams who hurt his knee in the second half last week against Memphis. He's out a month. Play action. Keel in triple coverage. And that ball is intercepted. Somehow, someway, it popped right into the air. And the Canes pick it off. Flag flies as they take it to the house. Right between the legs and then popped up on the deflection. McCord picked it up. Say the coverage is so good. You've got two Miami defenders right there and just being opportunistic, having the ball pop up, doing a good job staying with it, and then the nice return. There's where the offensive lineman, he cuts the... Def it, it. it ended up in the hands of McCord for the touchdown. So heel back at it. Look at the arm angle and the arm strength to complete that pass across midfield. Impressive, very impressive. And Bill talked about what a tough guy. Watch this, just getting it underneath the rush. The defensive ends had his hand. But every game after this is a conference game for no Cincinnati. Hey, about two open dates still in the season. Third and one, he got the first down. So much for bruised ribs, right? Pressure, Keel across the middle and incomplete. And yeah, he's got some help with Big Johnson and some of those other good players. Second and over the middle. That's deflected and nearly picked off. The coverage. There's not a lot of room in there. You know, guys aren't wide open. He's right there. He's got to thread the needle and there's a cover today. Third and ten. All kinds of pressure. Keel reads it, flips it to the right. And tackle made inside the third in total defense. Well, especially with the schedule they've played. That, that's the thing that's so impressive to me. Here with a nice pass over the middle, one tackle broken. Not near the tackle. Well, the thing I've been impressed with with this Miami defense is how they chase the football and get a lot of people running to the ball. He slings it to the right side. Nice game. He has 17 of 35 in passing. Miami's giving him the center of the field if he wants to take it. He does. Thing they get, you don't want any quick strikes here. 
They're moving down the field pretty effectively. Nice hit. What a 13-yard gain. This young man's an impressive quarterback prospect. He is very poised. A very strong arm. Again, over the middle. Lots of room. Johnny Holton. Johnny Holton's had some catches today. He's made some plays. Great story about Johnny Holton. He's a kid from Miami. Didn't play high school football. Had nine that? siblings. He had to work to help support his family. Didn't play high school football. And there he is. Playing for Cincinnati. Out of Miami. Pretty special. And Keel over 10. Washington in motion. And he shows blitz. They come from the corners. Keel steps up. Wide open at the five-yard line. But it's... Team in receptions and he's adding to that number. Had a really good day so far. Heel to the back of the end zone. And there's some really good receivers on both sides. Heel's going to keep it. We'll try the right side. Bang inside the five yard. And that's what you want offensively. Cincinnati's got it. Third and goal from the three. Heel play fake. Throws to the end zone. And it is caught for a touchdown right that ball comes so quick I, I thought the defender had a great chance to intercept the football and uh, just a great throw and catch Mikhail McKay with the catch Jamal Carter right there did deflect it but yeah. what a play by McKay and taking advantage of big plays 26 fewer plays for Cincinnati Miami a lot of deep balls today and long runs Nice pass and catch, but he makes a catch here for a first down. You know, Cincinnati's been the team. They've hit a lot of crossing routes, a lot of these type throws, but they've been the, the team that hasn't gotten a lot of bang for their buck. They've had had some complete high throws, you know, thrown off his back foot once in a while, getting good pressure from that Miami front. All day to throw there, and... You know, you're not really punching the guy. You're not trying to hurt him. You're just trying to get him off of you. Keel has his man wide open is Max Morrison. You got in a game like this where it looks like the game's over early is keeping your guys focused, keeping them reading their keys and, and playing football. And, uh, you know, that's not... Three touchdowns, 24 completions. 36 tries. They throw it every time if they can. Pass. Well, I'll see if Miami's defensive coverage is a little firmer and soft on the last yeah. drive. And Keel with a pick. Easy pickings and a big turnover. You know, really playing a little bit loose. you got to kind of stay loose and try to make the big plays. But those are the kind of things that can happen to you if you don't take care of the ball back up. Carolina, they are only 0-1 in their conference. And if this score holds, they'll be 2-3 and three overall. As Cincinnati takes advantage of the middle offense to, to beat anybody on any day. I think the key for them is staying motivated. They can step up defensively. They can win a lot of football games. Keel will try to pad his stats. Oh, yeah. That ball is deflected. Morris in the it might surprise even very knowledgeable fans that Cincinnati's on that list. They're a lot of great conference title four times the last six years. They've been to the bowl game seven of the last eight seasons. Keel swings it out to the right side. Nifty work by Miami again. Third and four inside Hurricane territory. Keel escaped one, but couldn't escape numbers two and three. He's loud. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to see this guy get beat up. You know, he's out there late, and uh, I know fourth on the all-time Miami rushing list. Got some work to do if he's going to. Duke will be a king before it's all said and done. Yes, sir. And here is the rushing chart we were talking about. Him top mark here in 2014. No question in just being a junior. Uh, it's going to be a battle with Miami and Virginia Tech. Some great matchups they've had in the Big East. They, those, those two have gone to war several times, so probably a little tradition going to play into that game. 